This morning we're headed back to Vermont. We're going to attend two different rallies. Uh, the first one is the... New England Airstream Club? New England Airstream Club. This is sponsored or hosted by our friends Cindy and Rich Collins of Love Subbin. We'll be there for the weekend, then we'll do some camping on our own, and then next weekend we'll be headed um, to... I'm not sure the name of the town. Another campground in Vermont where they'll be hosting the Canadian Thanksgiving weekend, and that is put on by the Cape Cod Airstream Unit. And we did attend that one last year. It's a lot of fun, a lot of food, so we're ready, and we'll get acquainted or get reacquainted with some of the people that we met last year. Yeah, and meet some new people. And meet some new people. So come along and join us. Everybody. Welcome to Zephyr's Travels. I'm Randy. And I'm Diane. And this week we're coming to you from Vermont. We're in Arlington, Vermont, and we're at the campground on the Battenkill, which is in Arlington, Vermont. And right. you're looking at me kind of strange. Oh, <laughs> no, I was thinking we're in Bennington, Vermont. We're, we're yeah. not far from Bennington. Right, okay. Yeah, we're uh, about 15 miles from Bennington. We went to um, Bennington yesterday and we did went to Old Town and walk the monument uh road right Monu yeah monument road yeah monument road the walking trail yeah and we stopped at the old church and saw the final resting place for robert frost and his family right they're located in the cemetery right next to the church yep and so we continued walking down the street and we ended up at the huge monument yeah the the, uh, the i don't know what it's called. Well, we'll tell you in the video. So let's show you some video of of our day in uh, um, Old Bennington. Old Bennington and then we went into Bennington itself too. Right. We're starting our visit to Bennington with a stop at the visitor center or welcome center. Figure maybe we can get a map and get some tips on things we want to see. So let's head in. Okay. Did we find anything? We did. This is a great uh, welcome center. There's a lot of information about different locations, you know, cities and stops you want to make while you're in Vermont. And we found quite a few that we're interested in. Yeah. So we for both will, for both our stays here. Yeah. So we'll be exploring Bennington a bit today. Yeah. So let's go. Okay. I'll bring my iPad. Okay, so where are we stopping here? Today, our, our first stop in Bennington is Hawkins House, which says that it's a glass jewelry ring shop. 
So, and I like that kind of stuff, so this is my first choice. So let's go in. Those are the kind of places I like. A lot of, and it wasn't real expensive. They have some clothes, a lot of jewelry, earrings, uh, crafty type stuff, pottery. Yeah, it's a perfect kind of shop for me. If you're into antique cars, then you might recognize where we're at. This is the uh, Hemmings Motor News uh, headquarters, I guess. It's also a filling station. You can fill your car up here while you're here. But it's really just an old vintage gas station, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna just check it out. And if you're into old cars and such, this would be this is considered the Bible for what the value of your car is and such. They also do other magazines out of here, and they have a museum in here. Um, unfortunately, the museum is not open at this time. It's closed for the season. Apparently, it's more just a summer type of museum. But the whole building is really kind of cool. It's got this old vintage gas station vibe to it that was pretty neat. So it's, we love these old type buildings, and they're always kind of fun just to kind of just check out and look at. We're taking a walk in the cemetery adjacent to the Old First Church in Old Bennington. In here is the grave for Robert Frost and his family, so we're going to go see if we can find it. What you say about the stones? I said I love these stones. I feel like Hollywood graveyards walking through here looking for the uh, burial place for Robert Frost. Oh yeah. But these are, I mean this is so much, it seems better kept up. Well, than some of the places we've been. Yeah. We've been to some that have been kept up nice. Yeah. I can say I think we're getting closer to Robert Frost. Really? Right here. That's an empty grave. Robert Lee These headstones behind me look like they're right out of the haunted mansion with the um, carved drapes over the top of them.
Ellenwood Daniel Conk Conkling House. This is the Samuel Raymond House that was constructed in 1821. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a brick house and I believe it is privately owned now. Behind me is the Bennington Battle Monument. There's a line of people here to go up into it, so apparently you can climb stairs to get up to have a better view of the area. We have the dogs, so we're not going to do that today, but that might be on something you want to put on your list if you're up to climbing the, chair, the stairs. Uh, Diane's already done a sigh saying, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> but anyways, we're not going to do it anyways because we do have the dogs with us. So that concludes our walking tour of Old Bennington. What would you think, dear? Oh, I thought it was very neat. Um, I, you know, I love these older parts of town with the older houses, and a lot of them were owned and lived in by some famous people. Right. So, and then we walked up to the monument, the, what is it? The Bennington Battle Monument. Yep which is definitely worth a visit if you're ever in this area. Yeah, up you there on the hill. Can, yeah, you can go up and, you know, go up into the monument. There is a small charge and don't get intimidated when you first look and think there's stairs. There's actually an elevator. Yeah, we found that out. That there's right. an elevator. Take six people up at a time. Right. And no it dogs. Only, yeah, it only costs five dollars. Yeah. And children, I think, were a dollar. So, you know, it's extremely reasonable. Yes. So next time we're here, we'll be going up into it. Okay. Okay. All Come right. On. Continue our visit to Bennington. See what we can find next. That was a lot of fun. A lot of history. A lot of... Um, a lot of nice old houses, yes. New England houses. Yes. They're they're beautiful, those older homes. Yeah. And the, they're all privately owned now. And they're very well kept up. They have beautiful gardens, built-in pool. Uh, the houses are just gorgeous. Gorgeous gardens. Yeah. And Hats off to the people that own those houses. They do an excellent job of uh, maintaining them. Right, right. So yeah, it, it, that was a fun day and then we went into Bennington itself and ate at one of the local eateries, which was very good. Yeah, that was also recommended by um, Rich and Cindy, it was one of their favorite places in town. So we, we stopped there and, and got a couple of sandwiches for lunch. Yep. So we just had lunch at Raimundo's. Raimundo's Pizza. Raimundo's Pizza, yeah. Rich and Cindy recommended this place, it's one of their favorites. We didn't have pizza. I had a wrap and Randy had a bomber sandwich. A steak bomber. A steak bomber and fries. It was and very good. Yeah, all were excellent. Yep. So, yep, a good recommendation. Yeah, definitely stop here if you're in the area. Okay. And then we continued on back to the campground. The campground for the dinner here. Yeah, for the yeah. evening festivities. We're attending, or this, week, this weekend we attended the rally for the... New England Airstream Club. New England Airstream Club. Our friends Rich and Cindy Collins from Love Subban they hosted their uh, they hosted this rally yeah and it was a typical new england rally last night's dinner was corned beef cabbage vegetables potatoes and it was very good yeah yeah they did an excellent job hosting this rally the hats off to the new england airstream club they they're, they're a great group they had um 27 trailers here which is a lot for a, a local rally it was their installation rally and their fall business meeting, um, but they didn't let that, you know, get in the way of all the fun. Right, and we had music and campfires, campfires. and happy hours. Yep, and just a nice group of people. Yeah, it really was. It's almost sad that it was so short. It was only yeah. a weekend. But, it was uh, only a weekend, and uh, the colors are starting to change up here, and they're getting to be really pretty. So we're going to stay the week. We're headed to Burlington. Yeah. Burlington, where we'll be until Thursday. And then we head to another Airstream rally. This is being hosted by the Cape Cod unit. And this will be their Thanksgiving rally. Thanksgiving Columbus Day weekend uh, rally. Yep. Yeah. It's an, that is an annual event. Yeah. And it's actually a national event. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, but you know, we're going to end this video here, but we'll pick up at our next stop, which will be in Burlington um, at the uh, North Campground. We've stayed there before. It's very nice. It's yep. located right near Lake Champlain. And right on it, actually. Oh, right on it. Yeah. So yeah, it's a it's a nice campground. So we'll be there for a few days. Yeah. So we're looking forward to that. There's a we've been like we Diane said we've been there before, but there's a lot to do in uh, Burlington. So we're looking for an opportunity to come back and explore that uh, city a little bit more before we get on to our next rally next weekend. So. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, you Zephyr Travels. Yeah, and hit the bell for notifications. We post new videos on a weekly basis, and we'd love to have you come along. And leave us a comment. Have you been to any of the New England rallies, or have you uh, been into the Vermont area? What's your favorite place? And uh, you know, let us know. So until next time. We'll see you guys down the road. See you down the road. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. We're at the Ben & Jerry's uh, factory tour, and our first stop was the ice cream line because that was the longest. So we got ourselves a couple of cones to sample the wares, and I've got s strawberry ice cream and a waffle cone. And what'd you get? Good chocolate chips and cherry Garcia. It's very good, and it's nice and fresh from the factory.